Okay, so today we're going to tie a uh, grey doctor, uh, a pattern I've never tied before. It took a while for me to uh, um, do this video. I had to uh, uh, color a, a few materials, so now that's done, I prepared everything. So I'm going to do the full uh, fly in one video. So let's begin! Okay, so um, I'm using Partridge a 3 0 hook and to tie this fly. I'm gonna tie it in um, fishing style. Uh, so, not no fancy frame fly. So, using a uh, GSP thread, uh, in this case it's uh, Vevus 12 0. So I'm just building up a bit of foundation for the flat um, tinsel, silver tinsel that's going to be on top of this one. silver yeah, and the whole fly is gonna be a silver body I'm afraid and that really <laughs> makes bad videos but yeah let's just give it a try So now the silver tinsel is in place, I'm just going to cut it off. And then I'm just going to build a foundation for the tail. Some legs. Here we have an okay tail, it's not super, but who cares? It's good enough to catch fish on. And then I'm gonna cut the left over here. And then we have the next step, that's the mallard. So I'm just gonna take a few strands here. We have the mallard. Mm -hmm. 
Oops, not the focus. Sorry for that. Come on. Sort out the focus. It's not working. There we are. Sorry for that. Mount that in place. It's gonna cut the left of this thing. There we are. Yeah, looks good. And then, as always, on the doctor flies, you need to have a red tag. Okay, so I'm using pool. Sweet a little bit. Not too much. There we are. Now we need oval silver tinsel. Add some bags on the thread. <clears throat> so I'm gonna use silk in this case. Oh, it's out, out of focus again, so I need to keep an eye on that one. Sorry. As I do with the thread. Okay, 
still in the same tank. So, even backwards with the thread. Fucking silly again. Okay. And yeah. So tying in the green high kill. Now I'm just gonna build up a little bit more of a body. Actually, it looks quite nice. So, there we are. So, having a look at, there we are, we need to have the flat tinsel. Waxing the thread again. Overlapping wraps back to, uh, backward and then uh, I turn and go uh, forward again. direction going forward This pattern I'm really gonna try next summer. Okay, so cut uh, the leftover tin cell. Saving that one for later. Well, the silver tinsel. So, one, two, three, and five. Ah, too long. I need to shorten, shorten. Oh, that's 
Viertel. Cutting the leftover tin seed again. Now it's time to wrap um, the body hackle. Time to tie it in. Secure it. Yeah. Let's have a look. Interesting. So the throat is gonna be mallard. Capricelli in the front tackle, as I always do on my Selma flies. I love that feather. Need to wax a bit.
I love the look of the fly. Let me just wax the thread and a few wraps. Let me starting with the wing. Okay. So I took the time to build a wing and change t-shirts so the autofocus doesn't take away, hopefully. So so I just did the, uh, you know, the, the, the wing should be modeled, uh, let me see. Green little turkey and uh, uh, Macau, but instead I did a, did a different variation here. Now, and there is no middle wing, so most likely you know it was uh, made quite rough, you know, real fishing pattern. It's from before the 18 or 1900 century, so it's quite old. So I'm just gonna stretch it a little bit, tie it along. Yeah. That's perfect. So let me remove the hackle. Oh sorry. I kinda didn't see that. I actually Separated the wing a little bit myself. Let me see if I can sort that out. That was a bit stupid. It's okay. I'm gonna leave it there. So, low. No one slick like that. So, waxing the thread. Then we have the sides. It's gonna be better to go back and see. 
So I start with the belt wood deck. Didn't like the position it ended up in. So let me see what we can do here. Now we are in the right position. Now after the mallard will uh, cover the, the top. Okay, so now it's time for the mallard. Adding this side first, and create a long mallard. Let me see combination now. The work. Need to straighten it out more in front. Pulling it down a little bit. Okay. Game with me today. I'm trying it the other way. Sleep is ruined. Time for a new sleep. Let's see what we got. This one. in place put him over down the back parent maybe it's too thin yeah but that, let's give it a try need to put the mallet in place on the on my side. Sorry. 
will probably be sufficient. Same on my side. to varnish so I'm just gonna apply a little bit of varnish uh, to make sure everything stays where they are Try a little bit and then I'm gonna add the topping. So now it's time for the topping, and that's gonna be the yeah, almost the last step. After the topping, it's uh, just the, the wool head that we need to sort out. So, fly soon ready. Simple pattern. Beautiful, I like it. Just 
so I think that's why I have swear one then. So there it is. I think it looks really good. So I'm just gonna varnish it a little bit. And then it's time for the bullet head. So there we are. Top thing is in good position. So it's time to add the wool head. The last step of the fly before finishing uh, the head. And there we are. So we're gonna wax the thread. Finishing off the head, a few wraps. So now we just finished this uh, fantastic uh, grey doctor. You know, it's a uh, let me. Oh, the light is coming from the wrong way. They are. I'm gonna add a bigger picture and um, the wing before I add it. A few pictures after this one. So, you know. If you like what I'm doing, uh, please uh, subscribe to this channel, have a look at my other videos, uh, hit the doctor. bell, so you don't miss out so on my next videos. Up a little bit Give a thumbs up and a comment if you want me to tie in, a, in and particular, then, and any pattern you like, your, your tropical fly, classic fly, whatever. Um, you can share the video, I don't mind, you know, share it on Facebook, whatever. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, comments always welcome. Um, so see you in the next video. Bye.